Hey guys, welcome back to Jack Mox, and here's my 1,000 subscriber special mock, Star Killer versus Darth Vader. So this is based upon the Force Unleashed, even though it's not from any particular scene, because I took a lot of creative freedom. I just wanted to build something with Star Killer because he is one of my favorite Star Wars protagonists of all time. And this Darth Vader figure is my favorite minifigure of all time. So I had to incorporate something with both of them eventually and to use the AT-AT walker, which was gathering dust on my shelf. So right off the bat, this mock is very dynamic in nature because of the fact that it's not the typical square base plate. As you can see, it has this angled path out. Um, it has like a nice corner fortress. It just it keeps surprising you. It's very pleasing to the eye. It's not very conventional, and that's why I like it. But one of the things that makes up for it, um, or at least contributes, is definitely the elements, such as the Force Lightning. Force Lightning is very pivotal for Star Killer in gameplay for the game. So I just had to incorporate a little bit of a Force Lightning. Another thing would be like this pit that's ablaze right now, probably probably because of Starkiller, or the Stormtrooper with the outstretched arms. Little details just make up the mock like that. Speaking of the Stormtroopers, I tried to make them like look like they're rushing for help, but really they're pretty helpless, such as what happened to the gunner for this rail gun. He probably got obliterated. <laughs> um, you know, Starkiller has a tendency to wipe legions of Stormtroopers off the face of the earth. But like I said, elaborating on small details, the overflow effect for the smock is also something else that makes it. For example, you might notice that instead of just having these uh, bricks on the sides for the outline, I used much more sloped and plated bricks to kind of add some nice effects to make it, like I said, a lot less conventional. But moving on to the ATAT, -AT. so I tried to make it where it was falling because, you know, of course, an ATAT -AT walker is no problem for Star Killer. So as he's brought it down, it's dragged its head all the way through and has eventually stopped, as you can see, this pile of mud, and it is in the falling motion. I felt like if it was on the floor completely, it would have really dragged the tension of the mop down. But if it was in the process of falling, it would look so much more better. And I think I was right about that. It looks great and I love it. One of the other things I really like about the mock is the small details, such as the snow on the trees, or as you can see, these stumps that are littered throughout the mock. Little things like that just add so much. But what do you all think about Star Killer? Let me know down below. Let me know what you think about the mock. This was so much fun to build. It took me about 14 hours and I'm very proud of it. So let's go on and conclude the video. So what did you all think? Was this a fun little mock? Um, just leave whatever you guys would have changed about it in the comment section below. I really like it specifically because of the ATAT -AT walker. It's mainly been just gathering dust on my shelf and I figured that it would be better to put it to use in a mock, and I really like it. Plus, I'm a huge fan of Star Killer. He's one of my favorite Star Wars characters, and I just wanted to incorporate him into LEGO at some point. But this is for you guys, as I have said before. So thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, keep on building.